Happy Colombo Day to all you wise guys, wise girls out there. Hope you are having a great Monday so far as we prepare for the salt, the cheese, the little bootlegging here and there. As we continue our Mafia Definitive Edition Classic Stream today on the PlayStation 4 Pro. I don't know why I did that. But anyways, Mafia Monday continues. Episode 3, Mafia Defend Edition on Classic. And we got past the race. We got past uh, <laughs> last week. Got a little salty last week. So we're going to continue. And I'm sure there'll be salt. I know some of you guys want the salt. So we'll see how it goes. Let's see. Pixel Piggy, Darian, Tanner, what is happening? Anyway, so, next uh, three-ish hours, back in Lost Heaven. Yep, nice suit, nice fedora, nice Tommy gun, nice 1911. Driving around in 1930s cars, doing what we do, indeed. So, it's also Colombo Day. In case you didn't know, Colombo Day is a day where we celebrate uh, the detective Colombo from the hit 70s shows, Colombo. And, uh, you know, played by the legendary late uh, Peter Falk, one of the greatest detectives of all time. He's up there with Sherlock Holmes and a few others as well. His opponents always underestimated him. And then it seemed like they were about to get away of it. And he'd walk away with his cigar in his hand, his beautiful brown trench coat. And then he'd stop and he'd be like, just one more thing. And that's when you knew he game ended those fools every time. Boom, done. Ripperonis, you're going to jail. You fell for Colombo's trap. <laughs> Tokyo 10, hello Tokyo 10. Hey GB and chat to see happy, oh yeah, happy Canadian Thanksgiving as well. It's uh, not only Colombo Day, it's also Canadian Thanksgiving Day. So happy Canadian Thanksgiving Day to all of my awesome friends, viewers, subscribers up in Canada, like Azulin, along with uh, Tank Engine Jr., Penguin, and many other Canucks. All across Canada, from to, uh, Toronto to Montreal, all the way over to Vancouver. Happy Canadian Thanksgiving Day. Enjoy your craft dinner. <laughs> Let's see, Dan's here. What's up, Dan? Space Monkey! Hello, Space Monkey. How you doing today? All right, so let's get into it, shall we? Continuing with our playthrough of Mafia Defense Edition Classic Difficulty. And uh, we're going to, I'm guessing, maybe... What, uh, one more episode after this, then we'll be done with Mafia Definitive Edition Classic Difficulty. Maybe. No promises. We'll see how today goes. MVP, what's up MVP? I see Salt Sprinkler on high alert. Yeah. There could be salt. I'm not saying there's going to be salt, but we'll just have to wait and see. But I do appreciate all of you being here on this Mafia Monday. My awesome viewers, subscribers, fans, lurkers. Lurkers, you are welcome to subscribe. Join the Go Burns Nation. Howdy, Nick. How's it going? And if you're new to the channel, I stream and cover Mafia Defensive Edition, Red Dead Online, GTA Online, as well as Ghost of Tsushima Legends starting this Friday, and other content as well. You're welcome to subscribe, and all of you that are here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And of course, thank you so much to our awesome mods. They always do a great job, Erica and all the other mods that we have. And our Super Chat heroes for October 2020 with our Jack Gold Lanterns and our members, Aslan, Oliver King, ACG, Rain, FanVet, Antonio, Mike Lambert, the Elite Members with the Golden Camo, Yuji Outlaw, Belfast Gamer. Honorable mentions to our junior members, Tokyo Tent, who's in the chat on his lunch break, Dirty Gecko, Darth Gaming, Peppy, Connor, Dr. Anarchy, and Jesse Alvarez. Junior members, members, elite members, and October 2020 Super Chat Heroes going above and beyond for the Go Birds Nation. By the way, Super Chats and memberships always greatly appreciated, but never, ever required. But if you're enjoying the stream, a like absolutely helps. All right, let's get going. Back in a Mafia Defend Edition Classic Difficulty, Episode 3 on Colombo Day, also Canadian Thanksgiving Day. So... A lot of celebrating going on today. A lot of celebrating. Alright, so what's everybody up to today? What have y'all been doing? 
work, school, various activities. I went to the gym this morning. Yay! I went to the gym. I worked out. I got a pretty busy week lined up. I gotta go downtown and sign some paperwork tomorrow. Adult stuff. Yay for me. And then tomorrow we'll have a video going over the Red Dead Online event week. Whatever that happens to be tomorrow. And Wednesday. I have no idea what we're doing Wednesday content wise. I guess I'll come up with something between now and then. Hopefully. And Thursday, uh, GTA Online Event Week video, and then starting on Friday, as I mentioned, heading back to Tsushima for Ghost of Tsushima Legends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that's the itinerary for the week. Subject to change, as always. Alright. Let's do this. Going into Minecraft with the boys. We'll have a good time, Pixel Piggy. Okay, so I do have a question for all you watching. For those of you here... Do you want me to play uh, normal? I mean, we're playing on classic difficulty. We are playing on classic difficulty. I should do this every episode just to show you that I'm not cheating. We are playing on classic difficulty. However, last week, as some of you know, they added uh, some additional content to free ride, including noir mode. Noir mode allows you to play the game in black and white. Would you guys want me to play the game in black and white today or just color? Noir or color, vote now in the live chat. If you're watching this as a video later on, I appreciate the watch, but you don't get to vote. Because <laughs> the voting took place from your perspective in the past, man. It took place in the past. All right, so Noir mode or color? Your vote right now, live chat. Let me know. You only get one vote. Noir or color? That's, that's all you get. So you watched some 90s hood movies yesterday. Okay, Darian. Nice. Very nice, Darian. Uh, Space Monkey says color. Okay, one vote for color. Two votes for color from Tokyo Tint. So I think that I think the most you're going to vote for color. I mean, Noir Mode is fun. It's a cool novelty. But yeah, I think, I think we'll... Let's see. Science failed. Uh, votes Noir. So we have two votes for color. One vote for Noir. I'll give it about another minute. And then we will go forward. Plus, this gives other people to get a chance to get into the live stream. So, I feel like it's going to be color. It's Not many people are voting. I get it. You guys don't want to vote. That's fine. Let's see, three votes for color, one vote for noir. But voting is important. You don't vote, then things happen, and then you complain about things happening. And then, hey, you didn't vote. You had a chance to make a difference with your vote, but you didn't. In the end, you only had yourself to blame. Let's just say that color wins, because three votes to one. Yeah. All right, we'll just go with color. Sorry, science failed. But we're going to be continuing in color. I don't know, maybe for fun later on, we'll maybe we'll switch it. If I fail like one too many times in a mission, maybe one mission we'll do it in noir. And then I'll switch back after the mission's over. Bama says color as well. Okay, so color officially wins. Hello, Bama. And hello, science. So, you know what? That's what we'll do, okay? If I fail a mission, like, more than, like, once, like, twice, then the challenge for then is I have to complete the mission in noir. How's that sound? Does that sound cool? Darian, you voted noir. Okay, but I, I think noir loses. But I think that's, that's going to be the compromise. That's a good compromise, I think. You don't get to vote for both, Darian. Freaking, I knew Darian was going to do that. I said one vote per person. That's not how it works, Darian. Let's see. Uh, Tokyo 10, maybe ideas for a video for Halloween Pass. Well, I already did a leaked video. Like, I don't know. I feel like we're a little too close to uh, the Halloween Pass coming out for Red Dead Online for me to do that. And to be honest, I, I don't know. I feel like a lot of those ideas are already revealed through the data mining. I mean, I'm hoping for a few more surprises. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. All right, boss. I'm going to go uh, deal with Frank. All right. So in case you were wondering, uh, last week uh, it was revealed that uh, Frank, which was uh, once upon a time Don Salieri's last BFF. Said, there was no sign of this. We had a drink. Talk business. Not this. See, they were BFFs. They, they came all the way back from the old country, right? And now Frank has betrayed the boss. Why? We don't know. Last I saw Frank, there was no sign okay, of this. okay, okay, you don't need to repeat yourself, boss. Talk 
Yeah. That's how he gets you to leave. He just keeps talking and saying the same thing over and over and over again. All right, so we're doing a Murta. That's how we're kicking it off today. So Frank has betrayed the boss, has betrayed the family for reasons. We got to take him down. We're about to send him Don Salieri's regards. Frank, you're done. Ripperoni's Frank. You traitor, you damn dirty rat. Tough day today, Tom. Oh, hey, Vinny. How you doing? We got to keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got your clean set of wheels. And some special here, if you want it. Ah, that is special. Nice. Frank sees in Lapara. You don't know. The old ways work. Yeah. Now, Lapora is the last thing he'll Whatever ever see. Takes, Tom. Ah, there's my car. It's over there. Hey, Carl, can I, can I borrow the, the Don's car? No? Fuck you. You schmuck. Anyways, I guess this is the car I get to take. No music, I don't want to be copyright claimed. Alright, so, Frank has betrayed us for some reason. Or apparently, allegedly betrayed us. After all these years, Frank, I trusted you. I looked up to you. You taught me the ways. And now this. Not only have you betrayed the Don's loyalty, you've, you've broken trust between the rest of us, between me and Polly and Sam and Benny and Ralphie. What did, you didn't even think about Ralphie. Didn't even think about Ralphie and his betrayal. I mean, what 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 is with people today? Was it money? Was it a girl? Was it a guy? What was it, Frank? What caused you to turn against the family? How could you, Frank? How could you? I'm trying not to get pulled over by the fuss. I guess I could have gone, but now I can't go because there's a coppa right there. Damn dirty coppas. Nope. That was my turn, asshole. <laughs> Anyways, hope everybody's having a good Monday. See, uh, Murda. Yes, I love this game as well, Murda. And we're playing on classic difficulty throughout this stream. Uh, a little bit more challenging than uh, hard or uh, medium. But I'm sure there'll be some salt for me. I do tend to get salty sometimes. See, Rob! Hello, Rob! Is there an... I wish there were... I don't know. Yes. I... I Rob. Don't... Rob! Rob, I've, I've no comment. Nope, no comment. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. <laughs> let's go talk to Biff. He's in Chinatown. By the way, speaking of Chinese food, I had some delicious chicken fried rice yesterday. And I posted it on Instagram. I do have an Instagram, FYI. And uh, I also posted it in uh, one of our uh, rooms in our Discord. We, have a do we do have an awesome Discord. We have an awesome uh, Twitter, Facebook. You're welcome to follow all of those socials. Feel free to do so. All right, Biff. Hey, what's the rumpus? What's up, Biff? How you doing? I'm looking for my good friend Frank. Have you seen him? Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Uh, depends. <laughs> what's it worth to you? Twenty bucks. How about forty? All right, spill. The FBI is in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the Black Cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. You gonna give him his 40 bucks? Can't go here? Oh, now I can't go this way. Look at him, he's just staring into the nothing. Like, what's so interesting up here that you're staring at, Biff? That light? This painting? These are lovely paintings. Anyways, I gotta go. Always a pleasure, Tommy. For the record, 40 bucks was a lot of money in the 1940s. 30s. 30s, not 40s. 30s. So him offering like uh, 40 bucks, I don't know, it's like maybe like 100 bucks today. Maybe more. Inflation. Okay, let's go see little Tony. He better not... Alright, off we go. Hey, who turned on the who turned on the freaking radio while I was in uh, Chinatown talking to Biff? Is Polly like following me and like pulling pranks? Hey, you were in my way, lady. Oh fuck. This this may not be good. No, 
I'm just gonna go this way. Hello? We need help right away. No, you don't. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I knew that was gonna happen. We got him. Officers report they're closing in. You didn't get nothing. Go away. I'm busy. Pursuit Look, she ran in ready. front of me. She was wanting to end it, okay? It, it's on her. Sounds like we lost the guy in Chinatown. Keep looking. There's no there's nobody in Chinatown, coppers. You saw nothing. Officers have seen him. Now in pursuit. No, you didn't see nothing. Go away. Leave me alone. I gotta I gotta go talk to a friend. A, a very good friend. Gerald, hello Gerald, how you doing? Officers in Little Italy reporting they've lost sight. Yeah, you you've lost sight, that's right. You saw nothing, see? Nothing. Shadow Pikachu, what's up Shadow Pikachu? How you doing? Luke's here, hello Luke. How's it going? Ah, damn it! I knew that was gonna happen. For fuck's sakes, game. C can I please get away with this? Look, she ran in a fucker! This is not going so well. Uh, it's going, uh, Gerald. Hope you're having a good day and everybody else. <laughs> I just want to go see little Tony. Come on. Come on, man. Uh, and where's the sleepy Joe? Come on, man. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, oh, come on. This is, this is the fun part about class and difficulty. The cops really do come after you. Like on, like, medium? Nah, the, like, the cops are almost nothing in medium. I like, except for, like, missions. All officers, search is called off. Good, Defeat finally. Search. Return to patrols. <laughs> At least they didn't catch me. <laughs> Not today, coppers. Yeah, <laughs> see? I think I actually had it all. I had the ability to like pay it, just simply pay the ticket. I think, um, unless they were out to arrest me, they may have been out to arrest me from the very beginning, and I, I think that would fail the mission. So I, I don't think I had a chance to, you know, give them a little dough, a little bread, so they could look the other way. I believe I didn't have a chance, but at least I got away. So I'm happy about the outcome, even though. It, <laughs> It, it went in a, in a way I wasn't expecting, and I still blame that lady. She clearly wasn't paying attention which way she was going. Makes me wonder if she just had some, like, uh, depression issues, and she was just thinking, you know what? Today, I'm becoming one with the pavement. I don't know. I hope she gets help, though. I hope it was just a bruise that she got, a little scratch, and maybe it'll be a wake-up call for her and make her to realize that, you know, life is precious and important. And it's not the end of the world. I mean, yeah, it's the Prohibition era. It's hard to get a drink. It's the Depression era as well. It's hard to get work. Tough times, you know, really tough times. But we can make it through it together. So hopefully, hopefully it'll work out for her. I hope so. <laughs> We're just doing this whole fanfic of this one girl walking across the street that I accidentally hit. Anyways, okay, we finally made it to Little Tony. It took a little longer than planned, but that's just the way it goes. Hey, hey, language. You watch yourself. How you doing? Whoa, she was looking a little excited. Whoa, hello. She seemed a little excited to see me. <laughs> Damn. Everything okay, Tom. All right. There's a little Tony. All right, let's look at this. Look in here. The Lancers are playing today. Sweet. Great. Eh. I don't have time for baseball. I have a job to do. Nah. Nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill. Corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Let on that Council of Gilates brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No, no he didn't. Tom, what's going on? That's none of your business. Alright. Let's see. There's something I have to pick up first before I leave. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Mine! I left it here last time I was here. 
You better be glad nobody took it. And what are you doing? Get the hell out of my way. You freaking narc, you spy. Hey, hey. He kept looking. He kept looking, see? <laughs> I had to make it a little bit more interesting. Oh, game seven. Nice, nice, lovely. Oh. <laughs> Go, Lancer! <laughs> he was acting a little too nosy, wasn't he? I had to give him a knuckle sandwich, see? <laughs> yeah. Empire Bay's going down. Oh, shit, I'm going this way. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's right. Search is called off. You saw nothing. Hey, he had it coming, space monkey. He was being very nosy. My goodness, there must be some nerves among some of the I didn't like the way he was looking at me, see? The way he looked at me when I walked into the bar, and the way he was looking when I was walking out of the bar. I had to show him some manners and some respect. <laughs> you don't mess around with Tommy Angelo. <laughs> it was lunchtime for that fool, and he got a knuckle sandwich. Alright. Off to, uh... Oak Hill, even though it's technically Beach Hill now. It is strange, on, on several occasions, I have noticed inconsistencies. Have any of you noticed it? Like, where they, they rename things in the game. Like, originally, it, this rich area was called Oak Hill, right? This has always been Oakwood. This was Hoboken. This was uh, New Ark. But they changed the name, right? From the original game to the remake. But, this is supposed to be Beach Hill. Of course, it looks like, I guess, this is considered Oak Hill now. I don't know. But this is, I think writing kind of got confused. I think they meant to say he meant to say Oak Wood. I guess. I don't know. But I've also heard people call the Giuliani Bridge the Giuliano Bridge in the game. So I've noticed a few inconsistencies in the dialogue. I'm just saying. Alright, let's put the, uh, the limiter on. You know, I think I've had enough fun with the fuzz today. <laughs> so what is everyone up to? What are y'all doing today? What is going on? Are you excited for this week? I am hopeful that it'll be a good week. I mean, coming up on the 16th, we have a, a big update coming to Ghost of Tsushima. I've mentioned it once or twice already. That's what we're doing this coming weekend, in case you're wondering. Ghost of Tsushima Legends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The two-player story, as well as the four-player survival mode. We're going to be doing both. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Hey! Freaking ambulance, out of my way. Look, if it was an emergency, that thing would be hauling ass across uh, Lost Heaven. Obviously, they're just lollygagging, just driving around town, wasting gasoline. I mean, we're during a depression period here, and they need to be better at rationing. I should be back at the firehouse or the hospital until there's an actual legit emergency. Hey, I can make an emergency pop up any minute now. Say, Connor, howdy wise guys. Howdy, Connor. How you doing? Hope you're having a good Monday. So, yeah, another lovely day in Lost Heaven. Ah! Damn it! Oh well. A little, little bruise I got there from that cabbie. There is an overabundance of cab cars in this game. I have noticed that as well. I'm guessing because a lot of people didn't have uh, cabs or their own vehicles. That's what I meant, their own vehicles. So I guess they relied heavily on public transport. Whether it's the trolleys, the L trains, a bus, or a cab car. They didn't exactly have Uber back in the day. Or lift, or whatever you prefer now. Plus, it's the depression. A lot of people couldn't afford a car. They were trying to survive, paying for the you know the bills and food and all that stuff. All right, we made it. Looks like the place.
I just love tail missions. They're the best. It's one of my favorite features in a video game. I, I love telling somebody. It's great. You rat! You damn rat! He's dead. I'm, I'm gonna put one in his head. Like, double barrel in the face! Eyes are straining in, strained from studying, but I'll live. I'm doing all right. Just uh, following a, a smelly, stinky, squeaky little rat. Take me to those account books, Frank. He's a squeaky rat. Turn that off. See, this is the problem with tell missions, okay? Because legally, you're not supposed to stop in the middle of traffic, right? It seems more suspicious to be. Oh. Alright, now keep the limit on. I had it on the whole time. Ah, shit. See, I mean, technically, this is what's... Like, the cop would be suspicious right now, right? Where are they moving you to? The cop would be very, very suspicious behind me. He'd be like, hey, why are you stopping, like, in the middle of the road, weirdo? What's wrong with you? Oh, it's my car, copper! Yeah, engine trouble. Yeah, I'm having a problem with the, uh, the thing. The doohickey. Yes, the doohickey's not working right. The gizmo's not doing proper. Actually, we know a gizmo. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know. Obviously, I I'm not a mechanic. Anyways. I mean, there are, there are what... There are weirder, worser, that's what I meant, worser tell missions in other games. But still, I hate, as some of you feel, some of you probably feel the same way. I'm not a fan of tell missions. I was being sarcastic in case you were wondering. Gotta be some kind of meat happening. It'd be better if there was actually some, like, I mean, I get it. There is music in the, on the radio station, so you could listen to the music of the radio station. The, the, the problem. Ah, come on! Cab, fuck! Seriously. You cab cars are getting on my nerves today. You got... They didn't even see the wreck behind me. They're all suspicious. I mean, look how far that, that meter went up because of that cab car. Ah, this is... Yeah, I hate telling missions to Space Monkey. It's ridiculous. I hate them. It's just, it's time consuming. I think there should always be like, like a, a video game should like have like the option like to skip it, right? Like, hey, you want to skip the, the tail mission? You can skip it. No worries. Ah, uh, shit. They've taken you to the airport, Frank. Say, so, Gerald, you been playing Morrowind? Nice. Are you enjoying it, Gerald? That's right, Space Monkey. Frank's a dirty rat. Yeah, a lot of people made that comment that he looks very similar to Strauss. Exactly, Luke. I look a little too suspicious staying that far back, but the problem is you have to stay that far back. Because if you try to drive normal, and then then that's when the alert will go up, but you're like trying to abide by traffic laws. So it's like a you can't win for losing scenario. Now they're hauling ass. Uh, hi, Kari. I'm sure a few people have uh, Mafia Defend Edition on PC. I believe that, we'll see, uh, Shotgun, she has it on PC, thanks to Dan. Dan had a code available, so I found somebody to give the code to, and that somebody was Shotgun. Let's see, Speedy Gonzalez, hello Speedy Gonzalez, how's it going? But why were you wondering, Hikari, are you wondering how it runs, how it does, how it performs? Christ. They're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. Nope. We'll just go this way. The airport. No, they have guns. They have guns! No, they have guns! Just flashed a badge at me and forced me out. Alright, all right, where are we going? Oh yeah, we're going to Canada to celebrate a Canadian Thanksgiving today. 
All right, you guys ready for some? Uh, what what is like to my Canadian friends? Uh, what do you eat for Canadian Thanksgiving Day? By the way, several people are like telling me to keep coming to this sign. Okay, there's Empire Bay, there's Miami, there's New Bordeaux, and then there's Bourbon City. A lot of people speculate what Bourbon City actually is. Is it a tease for the, a future mafia game? Maybe. Then there's realistic places like Miami, Havana, Texas, Texas, and then Lost Heaven. Why is Lost Heaven on here? We're in Lost Heaven. This this sign is silly. Why why would the look it says Lost Heaven up there, right? Well why would it also say Lost Heaven down here? That does not make sense. Well, Space Monkey, some people spe speculate the Bourbon City is like uh I don't know, Vegas. But that's a terrible name for Vegas. But there's there's another uh, name that we discovered from one of the cigarette cards. What is it? Los Undas? Which apparently is going to be, I guess, their version of L.A. Mafia cities are very strange because they mention real cities and real locations, but they also mention, uh, like, Mafiaverse versions. That would be good for Simonsons. Yeah, I like Jeremy of Simonsons. I... I I used to watch this content all the time, but I it's like off and on. It's like whenever it's a video I want to watch. Nah, don't don't mind me. I'm doing nothing. Karunzi's here. What's up, Karunzi? You get a flight to Empire Bay. Okay. Sure. Why not? Let's let's go on a flight. See, Hansel. Exactly. Let's fly from Los Los Heaven to Los Heaven. Why did they put Los Heaven on that sign? We're already in Los Heaven. Video game. Is it implying that we can fly back to Lost Heaven? <laughs> so many questions! Oh, we gotta be sneaky here. Alright, sneaky, sneaky. Uses Don Morello's. I'm sure of it. Alright. We all want the same thing. Can't say I'm happy dealing with you. Oh, that's good to know that. Alright. Wow. That's offensive. <laughs> sleep, sleep time, sir! Yeah. But how you doing, Karunzi? And how you doing, uh, Hansel? Good to see y'all. Oh, of course. I, I will take your time again. I'll I will make good use of it. Let me put you behind the bar. We'll just say you had a drink or two. And passed out. You just saw, hey, there's a nice bar over here. It's a prohibition era, though. But maybe they had something hidden under the counter, right? Yeah, that's what they did. A, a little something, something. All right. A little something something in the counter here that they, they stashed away for special occasions. Special VIP customers that come into the airport. Hikari, uh, GB Simpsons are fun to watch, despite some people saying he's too... I know, people just complain about that all the time. That's the point of his show. That's the point of Simpsons. People just don't get it. Boy, can't give up now. And then people get offended whenever it's like, Oh, they're making fun of my favorite movie. Well, no, nothing sacred. Morello nope. hasn't the honor to even show his face. For a rat like you? Nah. Get in the car. Yeah, see, he is a rat. You are a rat, Frank, and you're going to get what's coming to you. See, Space Monkey, can you do that mission without killing anyone? Uh... I can do this mission without killing anybody? I don't know. Probably not. No, my luck. I doubt it. I doubt I'll be able to do this mission about killing anybody. But I'm sure they're going to be able to kill me a few times. What? Got in. How dare you? Well, so much for doing the stealthy guys. I guess I guess they can spot you quicker. Hey, Dad. That was not my intention. Hey, Dad. Well, this is not going so well, is it? There. Flame on, bitch! Oh, no! I'm burning! I'm burning! Uh, uh, pardon me. I need to follow your vault action. Thanks. Fuck's sakes, I missed. I didn't miss, I hit him, but I didn't kill him. 
Damn it, this would have been easier if I would have gotten further in. It can't be easy, can it? Ah, fuck, I missed. Cops, just, just leave. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here, coppers. You, I said nothing. Nothing to fucking see here. Hey, don't you push me. Ah, headbutt, bitch. Alright. Meanwhile, back up here. I know I'm gonna die, but I don't care. That's my only chance. I had to, I had to get him before he got me. Explosions! Alright. Can I actually do this with no bullets? I think I was just too slow in sneaking away, and they spotted me. Wait, I need that shotgun. Where's the shotgun at? That fucker had a shotgun. Alright. So far, so bad, right? Oh. Hey, who's shooting? Who's shooting? Get, Tommy, Tommy, get down. Fuck, there's cops. There's cops! Run! Eh. Don't mind me, I'm just passing through. Alright. This isn't going so well. I don't think I can... I don't think the range on this thing is very good. The range on this is pretty good, though. Wait for me to get... Oh, yeah, just... Oh, there you go. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> Burn. Who's shooting at me? Scum. Alright. Hello, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You are a bold one. Alright. I've got to think about this, because I'm about to die. Yeah. Yeah, no. They're all... Like you always say, they're all, they're all alternatives to fighting. But, you know. What's the fun in that, right? That was weird. Is there a med kit? Oh, there's grenades though. That'll work. Tommy! Get get away from that plant. Ah. Uh, wow, that that ended really well. Alright, now we'll try to be a little more stealthy. I think the problem was I was going too slow and they saw me. See, uh, Togo Tin, turkey ham, uh, peregrine, mashed potatoes, cabbage rolls, Caesar salad, mixed veggies, a few other types of salad, cranberry sauce, pumpkin pie, etc. So it's, you basically ripped us off. Okay. Wow, Canada. You want to do your own Thanksgiving day? Fine. But you're going to rip us off and, and eat basically almost everything we eat? Oh, wow. I'm, I'm offended. I want Canada canceled right now. <laughs> Just kidding. Happy Canadian uh, Thanksgiving day. Obi Wan, see, yeah, I did that because I didn't have much time left, so I sneaked in where he is now. Threw a few fireballs. Okay, cool. What difficulty did you do it on, Obi Wan? I'm sure you did it on classic difficulty, and you used the Force to guide you. Of course, the Force. <laughs> well, shotguns are OP, like if they're up close, but from a distance. Well, at least if you're using it, not so much. But I'm sure if the NPC is using it, of course, they're OP. That's Tommy, just sneaky, sneaky. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Right. I'm gonna try this. So Obi Wan says we could sneak our way over here. Naturally, use the force. What if I could use the force to knock his ass out before he could get me? Hey, don't you don't you push me? There you go. There. Can I have your ammo? Thanks. <laughs> that worked. Alright. I think they're where something's wrong. Alright. I'm just 
goofing off. I don't know why, I'm just in a goof-off mood today. I don't know why. Oh, there he is. Pop! Like on Classic, why is it showing the dots? I thought it wouldn't show the dots on Classic. My game, why, why are you doing this? Yeah, me sneaking in isn't gonna happen, guys. I know there's probably a, there's a, I like the fact they have that as an option, though. Alright, let's see what we're gonna do. I know there's some scumbags over there. No, screw it, let's just be smart. Your friend died. He died. You died too. I see a red dot over there. See, they're fucking aimbody as hell. Damn it. Alright. Well, that's all out of nothing. Hey, stop. This is an airport. There's flammable stuff. How dare you? Alright, never mind. The irony, right? Ah, come on. Ah, come on. Okay. I, I used all my ammo, but I, sur I survived for now. And I died quickly after. Oh. So only the dots that see you. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know what it is today. I just, I don't know. You ever had one of those days where you're just like, meh, I don't know. I'm just being ridiculous today. All right, I'm gonna try one more time. And then I may have to do it BRB. All right. Alright, so I'm trying to think of exactly how you could sneak in. Well, you have to go from the right side, because if you go from the left side, then that... That one dude's gonna see you. That's standing out in front of the car. As somebody mentioned a while back, I, I really wish that... You did have the ability to... Whistle like Lincoln does in Mafia 3. That would be very handy in this game, if you had the ability to, to whistle. But see, the problem is... Whistling was not invented until the late 1960s, apparently. I'm just joking. I don't want anyone. I don't want anybody going like, actually, GB. People have been whistling forever. I know that. It was a joke. I was trying to be funny. Ah, all right. Let's go this way. I think the problem is there's two guys inside the building. All right. So the left's a bad way to go. Yeah, I, I felt like that was a bad way to go, Obi-Wan. It's not the path of the Jedi. See, that's the problem. There's two guys, like, right there. Uh, fuck it, I'll just kill you. Eh, that solved my problems. Run out the door, Tommy. Uh, hold on, Patrick. Hold on. Uh, Patrick, you found money uh, in Mafia Defend Edition free ride. Really? How does that miss? Are right, you dead? Let me get this med kit real quick. Med kit. I mean, maybe I should hold on to it, but uh, I'd rather just grab it now. All right, we'll go back right here. Yeah, I mean, sometimes they are pretty blind, but sometimes, I guess it depends on the difficulty. So sometimes it does seem like they don't know where they're going. Oh, I guess so. 
I don't know why it keeps censoring your comments, Patrick. I have no idea, dude. It just... It's like that's the second time I've had to prove it. Oh, 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 oh for, for fuck's sakes! Really? I swear, most of my bullets just end up hitting the air. Or nothing at all. Ah, I'm trying to get ammo! Rude! Actually, I lied. I was trying to get grenades to blow you fools up. Right, so I got some grenades. Alright. Oh. Uh, there you go. You're welcome. Oh, how, how inconvenient for me. Ah, for, cr for crying out loud. Got to do a better job. Here you go, I have a grenade. Oh, good, both of you are there. I hope you both died. I don't think either one of them died. For fuck's sakes. They're not out to a great start, are they? We have, we have 12 rounds in the Lepora. Uh, uh, too far. Oh, but you're not! <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. Alright, hang on. Molotov me. No, you're not! Fuck you! So I'm giving them the slip. I'm I'm doing all these maneuvers. Like, it did it again! Why Patrick, I don't know why you keep censoring your comments. Like you're not saying anything bad, or you're not doing like dot coms or anything. Uh, YouTube, would you stop censoring Patrick? I'm trying to focus here, YouTube. YouTube, your job is to, like, only censor things that are inappropriate. Not because somebody's trying to leave comments in the live chat. So I'm sorry about that, Patrick. Ah. Ah, oh, he got me. He got me in the knee. I was an adventurer like you until I took one in the knee. Let's see, it's a glitch, I think billions of dollars and prompt you to press square. So there's there's money in the game, but the money doesn't really serve an actual purpose. The truth is, I mean, there was technically money in free ride in the original game in free ride extreme, but it also once again served no actual purpose. I really wish they did have like a, a currency. Like something. So you can climb over the fence if you keep going to the left around the building. Okay. The problem is, like, I don't know how to get around those clowns, like, right there. Because you try to go through the building, there's clowns. You, you go to the left, there's a clown. I mean, a mobster. You know what I mean. Alright, let's try this. We're gonna get through this, don't worry. We're playing on classic difficulty, FYI. I think even if we were playing on easy right now, I'd probably be screwing this up, because I'm just oofing. Exactly, Karunzi. I mean, I really wish there was an economy in the game. I really wish there was a reason for money, to make money, to earn money, to have things to spend money on. Unfortunately, there's not. Alright, got that. I just don't feel like being sneaky today. Not through the building. Okay, I know, I know. Why? Patrick, YouTube does not like you. I love you, by the way. I don't love you that way. I like you, Patrick, but YouTube keeps censoring your comment for, for no reason. YouTube, stop it. I don't know why YouTube keeps doing that. Well, that is, that's a weird glitch, though, Patrick. Thanks for letting me know, but that, that is weird. Both, both situations are weird. Oh, okay. I think I can actually... I think I can... Are you fucking kidding me? Now, don't mind me, guys. Don't mind me. I'm, I'm, I'm new. I'm new. I'm new. I'm new. I'm, I'm a new member of the gang. Sorry. Damn it. Okay, you're right, Obi Wan. Like that's, that's what happens. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Awkward. I thought for a moment that the NPCs got repositioned, and I thought I could just sneak through. Stay to the left, kill the one guy, keep going around the second building. 
Yeah, but the problem is you kill the one guy, then it's no longer stealthy. That was so. Oh, now I can. Now I can. Maybe I can stealth now. I don't think it's gonna let me. But all right, let's keep going. <laughs> it, was, it, it did it again. YouTube, why do you keep censoring Patrick? Why is YouTube doing this to poor Patrick? Patrick's done nothing. Yeah, Patrick, it keep, YouTube keeps censoring you for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> well, it's not censoring. It just puts it It puts it puts in, like, a, I guess, a, a queue, and I have to approve the comment. What's up, Patch? How's it going? Good to see you, champ. Hide in the bush. Yeah, because I'm sure they can't see in the bush. In the bush. In the bush. That was so dumb. <laughs> All right. Alright, so I got some Molotovs. Alright. I have to decide what strat do I want to do. I just want to say fuck it and go to the... ...thing. Because there's quite a few of these, uh, individuals. It'd be funny if they just all of a sudden just stopped coming after me. And they were like, oh, I guess he left. Yeah, he left. Don't worry about him. This game really needs a, a weapon with a silencer on it. I think silencers existed back then. See, that'd be sweet. Home stretch, yeah. This is quite a few of these uh, fools. I'll just hide right here. Let's see. Let's see if Space Monkey's right. Will the bush conceal me here? Damn, there's a lot of them. It did it again, Patrick. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Like YouTube, I'm trying to focus here. You don't have to. What, what is it? Again? What is it about Patrick you have a problem with YouTube? None of his comments have been inappropriate. They're like GTA 5 cops. I wish they would just calm down. He's gone. He left. He chickened out. Okay, Jesus. He wasn't up for the job, man. He backed off. There's a lot of these idiots. Uh, Space Monkey, you were wrong. You were wrong, sir. There. Uh, uh, there. Have a little fire! Burn, baby! Burn! Uh, he's still alive after being burned? You, you think he'd... Oh wow, we, we conveniently uh, took the... Oh, you dead. Damn it, I was trying to hit that barrel. Oh. No, I'll throw some first. <laughs> Too slow! <laughs> uh, it's like, no, he took my idea. There! I hit the Michael Bay barrel. Nice! That debris was pretty sweet. Did y'all see that? That was pretty sweet. Okay, let's go. Alright. I'm gonna take care of this asshole. Oh, for... Damn it. I thought I was doing good. Ah! No! Run, Tommy! 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 Tommy, your shoes will be fine. Your shoes will be fine, Tommy. We had to retreat. Damn it! No! Fucking aimbots! You couldn't hit me from that distance. That's bullshit. I don't believe you. Are you kidding me? Alright. No! Fucker. Get a better shot. Go. No shot for you, bitch! <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Alright. 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 Now I got 
I saw what to do. I need to get that med kit, but I'm out of ammo. All right. Okay, this this could have gone better, but we're still kicking. The first successful suppressor was invented in 1902. See, theoretically, you think the mob would want to have a suppressor, a silencer, or whatever you wish to call it. So I got my health back a little bit. I want to get this, uh, these grenades, but I'm kind of concerned. All right, all right. I'm not gonna worry about the stupid uh, collectible. It's just not worth the risk. All right. So we may only have the Pura ammo for the little shotgun, but the good news is, the good news is we have grenades, and that's bad news for them because they're about to get blown the fuck up. Right there. Goodbye, fuck faces. It's a little closer. Bye bye. <clears throat> nope. Run. I ran into a wall. That's not good. Shit. Shit. I think I may have killed one or two in that plan. It's like whittling them down. If I go back the other way, the cops are over there, so I don't want to deal with the cops as well. Damn it. I'm running out of strats here. Alright. For fuck's sakes. Alright. Alright. What do we want to do? Uh. See, the problem is they're very aim body, so they can. They're gonna hit me from a ridiculous distance. Alright. Fuck. <laughs> this isn't going so well. Alright. Uh, can someone just leave uh, some ammo laying around if they don't mind? If you don't mind, some ammo would be nice. So, we'll see if we can get back to this ammo cache over here. Man, that'd be a good idea. No, he wasn't. He's gone. He's gone, dude. You, you lost him. He left you. He left you forever. Oh. That's where I put my... Fuck you! Oh, hello. No! Run! Run! Tummy, tummy, you're gonna have to go for the melee, melee, melee his ass. Melee him! Thank you, thank you, have a nice day. And, uh, while I'm at it, I'll take your bolt action too. Thanks, sir. That's gonna help a lot. What a nice young man he is. Helping me out in my time of need. Let's, uh, fuck you! Yeah, he's out of here, alright. Move in. I see him. Over here. Fuck this. Bye bye. Uh. Fuck! God damn it. Uh, a strat. Stellar J, hello Stellar J. How's it going? I'm slowly trying to whittle him down. At least I have a gun with bullets now. Where are they hitting me from? I'm so, like, I don't only have so much health. I think if I take one more bullet, I'm dead. Fuck. <laughs> this is going so well. Damn it. <sighs> alright, alright. I need a plan here. Two friends over there. That's right. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna go back over here. Alright, good, good, good. There's one asshole right there. If I can get to it. Can I go? I don't think I can. I can't go around. I left! I, I cowered out. You won, guys. There. 
on my way. Alright, I made it. <laughs> Tom. Frank. Time to die, Frank! Frank sent me. It's time. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. You rat, you're time to die. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over yet? I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello was waiting. For this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Tell them to get on a plane. Yeah, y'all can go, but I'm sorry. Go on, March, Alice. Yeah. Get aboard. March, Alice. You coming with bye bye. Us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. He ain't going anywhere. We're, we're putting one in his discuss. face. Frank. Get on the plane, March. There are regards that have to be sent. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. I do like the fact that the doctor, the daughter is actually older in this version of the game. The original version, she was still a child, which made no sense. I was like, why, why, why would he have a little girl? He's an old dude. His daughter should be like that. I mean, this makes more sense for his daughter to be that age. You've been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. All right, Frank. Thank you, Tom. Goodbye. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Do it, Tommy. Do it, Tommy. Pull the trigger. Do it. Do it. Do it. Come on. God damn you, Frank. Tommy! You had one job, Tommy! One job! He's a rat, Tommy! He's a rat, Tommy! He's a rat! <sighs> Seriously? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's funny, like, right, I hit the door right when I got... I think that would have been a kill shot, basically. <laughs> but hey, I got through the door. Sorry. Sorry about that. Alright, but anyways, I'm gonna take a quick break before we go on to the next mission. And, well, first we're... Yeah, obviously we'll conclude a murder, then we'll move on to the next mission. I hope you're enjoying the stream so far. Mafia Defend Edition on Classic... If you are, hit the like, and I'll be right back.
Okay, we are back with more Mafia Defense Edition on Classic. Thank you so much to everybody that's here. Part of Mafia Monday. And we're almost done with Omerta. Now he's had to uh, pick something up from the bank. Yep. Good afternoon, sir. Hello. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Ooh, that's a lovely bank. I wonder if it's FID or FDIC insured. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Beautiful day, huh? Uh-huh. It is. It's a beautiful day. Why do you guys have so many paintings of the uh, Lost Heaven Queen? You really like that boat, don't you? Keeping oh. out of trouble, I hope. No. Ah, that's where I put it. I stole it right in front of you, you lousy security guard. I stole it in front of you too while you read the papers. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me. Okay, cool. Nice. Pardon me. Okay. There we go. Sneaking into the vault. Well, not sneaking. Literally walking into the vault. Some safety deposit boxes. This is how it is pretty much in real life. Oh, it's a funeral. So sad. I got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. So my question is, like, the bodies, what... Like, what's inside the coffins, right? What's in the coffins? There has to be something in the coffins, right? You're making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. It's a hell of a thing. Omerta complete. Kinda sorta. <laughs> Anyways, if you're enjoying the stream, a like would be greatly appreciated. Mafia Monday, Mafia Defense Edition on Classic. Every Monday, well, not every Monday, well, until we complete this uh, series. Then we may move on to Mafia 3 Defense Edition. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. Now it's time to visit some rich people. Damn rich people. Look at these houses. Big yards, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for you? No, sir. I don't like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Morell let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. 
<laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. That him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. Si, o capisco. Tommy, if you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere di di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Per favore. All right, we're driving. Well, Salatar probably doesn't have his license yet. All right. Off we go. Not for now, it's lovely drive in Lost Heaven. To the nicer part of town. Where the rich folk are. Parli almeno un po' di italiano? Il capo ti ha detto il piano? Uh, I don't speak Italian. Eccellente. You think you at least know a little bit of Italian? He is Italian. Ah, uh, fantastico. Uh, no plan? Yeah, the boss told me. Uh, please, uh, uh, understand. Entriamo dal labirinto senza farci sentire né vedere. La cassaforte è dietro un dipinto al primo piano. Dammi un po' di tempo e lascia fare tutto a me. Quella cassaforte avrà sicuramente un allarme. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be a long night for the both of us. Ah, Cristo Santo. Anyways. I would like to know what he actually says since I don't speak okay, Italian. Turn. Do what I do. Do not get caught. See, si. you gotta keep safe. Safe? See, si. uh, it's um, uh, my job. Apro casa forte. Open safe. Christ. Okay. Radio. Let's listen to the radio. Uh, excellente. Not excellent, eh? I don't want a copyright claim. Sorry, guys. But no. Just enjoy the rain and the drive. And be in deep thought and meditation about the job and the task at hand. Sneaking into the mansion. Bopping guards left and right. And then cracking that safe. Crack it. Like, uh, I don't know. The Cracker Jack box? I got nothing. Anyways, so, one thing we're doing in the Discord, in case you're curious, is. Hell of a view oh, up here. It is nice. A volte questo paese è estupendo. A lot of first responders. Lady, well, you need a, an umbrella, I think. Oh, I think the rain stopped. First responders are like driving by. Must be an accident or something up the street. But one thing I'm kind of brainstorming right now in Discord in our Mafia room is some ideas for what we'd like to see in the fourth Mafia game. I mean, I kind of already did a, a similar video, but I'll talk more about it in a moment. All right, we're here. Time. Entriamo da lì. Over. Wall. Yes. Labirinto. What? Uh, yes, I know to go over the wall. Thank you, oh, Salvatore. A maze. See, un labirinto. Stay here while I take out the guards. I want to buy it. Oh, well. This won't be so difficult. All right. Uh, anyways, being a uh, sneaky, sneaky, I can't go that way. So. Well, the idea of the video I, I want to eventually make is 
I want to take like the positive aspects of all the current games in the Mafia series. Like Mafia Defense Edition, Mafia 2, Mafia 3, and I guess combine them each like positive elements into use for a hypothetical sequel game. Like things that you liked about this Mafia game, things you liked about that Mafia game. Kind of sort of uh, combining them together. He's moving. So I've been brainstorming this as kind of an idea. Let's put that away so we don't accidentally discharge a, a round or two. Accidents can happen around here. Especially when you're trying to be sneaky. So obviously story aspects, I think that's very important. A good protagonist, good supporting characters, a good antagonist or antagonist. A good setting. I think a lot of us have kind of wanted it to be in like the 70s in a fictional version of Las Vegas. I, that could be end up being Bourbon City. I don't know. I think they could do better than Bourbon City for a name, to be honest. But at the same time, that's what I'm kind of got percolating upstairs. I don't know when I'll finally have that particular video uh, ready to go. I'm just... I'm in the initial. In the maze with us. What the? Seriously? Around, I guess. Was it because I was running or something? Oof. My bad. It was just a cat, dude. It was just a cat scurrying across the property. Don't be alarmed, man. Calm down. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> No! No! Nope, stop that. There. He dead. Sure wish I could have a night off. Well, you're about to. You're about to get your wish, buddy. See, he can he can whistle. Why can't we whistle? That's bullshit. Stay stay down, Tom. Right, he down. Is that all of them? No, there's still one right there. Alright. Gotta set out deal with this one. Okay, how are we gonna deal with you, buddy? I think that one dude was overreacting. Got him. Think that's all of them. Salvatore. Salvatore, where are you? This is so silly. This whole freaking running around looking for Salvatore. This part of the mission is ridiculous. It feels like kind of a time waster where you run from here to here to here looking for Salvatore. He's playing like a little game of uh, hide and seek with you. Where the hell did he go? There's not any time for a little hide and seek right now. I'll hide the salami. <laughs> Anyways. Freaking Salvatore, get over here. Get over here. Guy's a pain in the ass. This is so dumb. We running through the water. Oh, there you are. Say, I'm deep for the What? All right. There we go. All right. 
Now there's a maid and the missus are inside. I may try to avoid killing them. I may try to avoid killing them. What kind of luck picker are you? Look for a dipinto. What? Da Vinci, Caravaggio, I capito. Painting? You're saying it's behind the painting? Si, si. Okay, I understand. Non quello. Guess we got another room to check. Alright, we'll sneak over here. I'm gonna try not to harm the, uh... Let's see, repent! America will not fall into temptation. Prohibition must be... Re must not be repelled. Belief, temptation. Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the spirit. What, what if you still do debauchery, but you don't drink, huh? Huh? You didn't think about that, did you? Another here, Silvatore. Ah, I found it. Oh, we were looking for something else. Okay. All right. Not here. There's another Only bear. behind here. Al procuratore. That's amazing. Empire Bay mob boss murdered. See, Tom Thomas Moretti was murdered. Oh man, not not Thomas Moretti. He was a nice guy. All right, let's. Uh, where are we going now? I'm gonna try to avoid the maid. I don't want to kill her. All right, so I think if we just go ahead and sneak upstairs, we'll be okay. We'll try to avoid the, the misses as well. Last time it was just an unfortunate series of events that led to their to their deaths. See, there's the misses over there. So we'll try not to kill her. No promises. There's one. I don't want to harm her. No, don't go, don't go, don't go that way, Salvatore. No, 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 bueno. Yeah, Salvatore, come back this way. We don't, we don't want to harm the misses, okay? We don't want to harm her this time. Last time I did. I'm trying to make up for for past sins, okay? A little redemption. Red Dead Redemption? Ah, uh, no. Oh, there's a med kit. Let me go grab this med kit real quick. The maid is downstairs, so we avoided her. The missus is in a different room, so we've avoided her. So that's good. Neither one will be harmed. And the uh, Guess we got streaming of this series. Alright, med kit. Ah, I feel much better. Ah. So I think the office is over here. I think this is the office. Aha, I found it. Is there anything, anything for me? Bueller? Oh, there's, a, there's a magazine. I mean, a piece of paper. Words. Lots of words for you to read. If you want to read. But you don't have to. I'm not telling you to do anything. Do what you want. All right. There we go. What a lovely painting. So Cincinnati exists as well. So confusing. There's like real places sure. and there's fake places. Show me what you can do. Well, Mafiaverse places. Oh man, come on. Shit. Come on, man. Be quick, Salvatore. Pachanza, pachanza. Must be sneaky sneakies. Nice work, excuse me. Oh no, the alarm! No, not the alarm! Man. What? Inzappolato! Doesn't matter, come on, we need to get out of here! Vai dietro, dietro! Alright, so chat, I want to make a. They gotta be upstairs! I want to make a sincere apology to all of you. Apparently, 
It was not my fault, but I will be blamed. You see, the YouTube chat froze on me. And some of you were probably wondering, GB, why are you ignoring us? Why are you not giving us the attention we deserve? And you're right, you deserve the attention. So I do apologize. Emil, hello Emil. Arc Light, hello Arc Light. Let's see, uh, lo I love Shasha, hello. Uh, Erica, hello. AG, hello. Let's see, Ethereal God, hello. I apologize. Jack, hello. I am sorry to each and every one of you. My chat froze. So I hope you are still here. I hope you can forgive me. Astro Rio, hello. Penguin Files is here. Hope you're enjoying your Canadian Thanksgiving. See Banzo, hello Banzo San. Did I did I get everybody? D did I mention everybody? I apologize. I was not ignoring you all. The stupid YouTube chat froze on me. Good job, YouTube. Good job. Okay, we can continue now. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I hope y'all are doing good. I'm glad you all are here. I hope you're still here. I hope y'all are not like, wow, GB's not even not even paying attention to us. That's it, we're done. Dislike, unsub, we're gone. <laughs> I'm sorry. You gotta smack me silly. It's not my fault, Erica. I'm sorry. And hello, Erica. Hope y'all are doing well today. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> that was funny. Alright, cool. I'm glad you guys are still here. Sorry about that. I was wondering for a moment, like, what's going on with my chat? Why is nobody... Like, people hadn't talked for a few minutes. I'm like, what's going on? The people just... Shit. Uh, what did I get shot at? At first, a lot of people just left. Like, oh, we're, we're gone. We're bored. We're, we're moving on. We're going to go watch some of that... I don't know. Watch some Among Us or something. I don't know. Now, I thought, wait a minute. Maybe it's the YouTube chat that froze on me. Again. It does happen. Come on. Ah. He dead. Help me. Shit. Damn it. Come on. Come on, pop your head, bastard. Oh. You sneaky Pete. Sneaky. I wish I had a 1911. Shaman in the lake it should be dead. Stop. There, there's there's a woman in here and a maid. That was too slow. That's too slow. See, Devin! How's it going, Devin? And see, Victor! Hello, Victor! How you doing? Glad to have you here. Apologies for my Italian. I wish I knew more languages. I wish I did. I wish I was fluent in Spanish. I mean, a little, knowing a little bit of Italian would be cool. Should also know a little bit of French, since I live in Louisiana. Yeah, uh, Space Monkey, yeah, that's something I was going to mention. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, they, someone does mention Al Capone. Um... Chicago is actually mentioned in Mafia 3, which is some of you may recall if you watched my uh, playthrough of Mafia 3. Kind of arced me a little bit because Lost Heaven is supposed to be the Mafiaverse version of Chicago. See, Penguin, you bought the Naturalist roll and almost hunted the Night Moose uh, bear. And the. Uh, oh, okay, well. I don't think you signed. You don't, you're not part of our treaty, though. They gotta be upstairs. Safe's in his study. Hey, <laughs> that angle, yo. All right. I mean, admittedly, the headshot was sweeter. Let's say, UGLO, what's up, UG? How's it going? All right, so we have the uh, med kit. We may have to fall back and grab it. He's dead. Alright. Just gotta be smart here. 
Be smart. Me? Ha, <laughs> so funny. You are damaging somebody's property. Now I have this lousy service revolver. That's a terrible shot. Come on! He took one in the face. There he did. Took it like a champ. Salvatore, we're not leaving yet. I have to get a med kit. I'm trying to make my shots count, Erica, but you know me. I usually miss. Oh, well, we're doing all right, UG. Hope you're having a good Monday along with everybody else. Some of you probably thought I was not talking to chat because I was trying to be stealthy and shit. But no, it was the... It was just the game. The YouTubes being YouTube. Is that it? They all, are they all dead? It? I kill them? I don't think I can. What's in here? Oh, that's where I left it. Ah, nice. Ah! Don Zalieri, he'll want this back. He likes this cigarette card. It's his favorite. Uh, time to leave. Uh, we Salvatore, are. Salvatore, stay back! I'll deal Over with here. him! Ah, uh, damn it! Fuck. <laughs> I thought I could just leave. <laughs> damn it. Shit, shit, shit. Come on! How many shots can you take? I'm, I'm cornered! Salvatore, help me! I'm pinned in. They're gonna get me. Throw some no. Yeah, you yeah, ain't throwing nothing, bitch. Oh. I'm gonna throw some fists. No, the fucking cops. You have permission to shoot. Shutting your booty. All right. Uh, time to go. Oh, here's my car. Mine now. Time to leave. Uh, goodbye. Oops. You know, things happen. Presto! Persemina gli spiri! I know! Whatever you're saying, I know! Uh, time Please. to leave. At least I only died once. Ah, this car! It's so big. It's beautiful, but... I don't know. I don't know. Pardon me! Come in there! Come in there! I gotta leave. Bye-bye. Don't mind me. All right, uh, I think we, I think we're fine. Cause they're all going back to the mansion. Okay. Yeah, I walked right into it, Eric, and somehow I didn't die. <laughs> That's what I get for thinking the coast was clear. Uh, nice one, game. Nice try. Go back to patrols. Ah, grazie Dio. Yeah, grazie. Where? Do I take you now? Home. Yeah, that's a good idea. Home. Home. Yeah. We're home. Uh, six and uh, maple. Okay, let's go. No, no music. I don't want a copyright claim. Tommy Angelo Jr., what's up? Hope you're having a good day as well, along with everybody else. Thank you all for being here. Uh, Eric, I think we were out of gators. I think uh, the gator quota has been met. I think it's going to be a moose. So we have ten. I think we have technically four more legendary animals that are leaking on Reddit Online. Uh, one more moose, which will be an animal sighting moose, and then uh, three panthers. So I think the panthers. I think they're going to save them for like the next week, along with the. Uh, my theory is. They're going to coincide with the Halloween event, the new Halloween pass that's coming probably on hopefully the Tuesday, not this Tuesday, but next Tuesday, the 20th, maybe the 27th. That's just my theory. 
but I'm speculating that possibly it's just going to be the moose. A moose loose Tuesday. Now we'll do a video, by the way. I should have really let them go in front of me. I should have really let that cop go in front of me. Now, don't mind me, officer. I, I know you got important places to go, people to see, and a harass and arrest. Don't mind me. Oh, who put that car there? All right. So tomorrow I'll do a video going over the event week. Maybe on the 20th. We'll stream whatever happens on the 20th if it's a Halloween event. Epicness for Reddit Online. Yeah, Karunzi, I agree. Hopefully the 20th. Because, I, I mean, like we were talking about the other day, Panthers are pretty scary, right? They're pretty scary. And it makes sense for them to coincide. Mel, you want to translate? No, I don't want to get copyright claimed. Oh, that's right, Karunzi. Friday is Legends. Starting Friday, we're heading back to Ghost of Tsushima Legends. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. We're going to do both. We're going to do the story mode with two players. Possibly Riley and me. And then we're also going to be doing the four-player survivals with maybe Kane, maybe uh, Karunzi, Ben, J-Rush. We'll see how it goes. We'll probably just rotate people for the Good survival. Night. night. Good night, sir. All right, we got that done pretty easy. When will YouTube remove copyright? Uh, Tommy Angelo Jr., they're not going to have a copyright claim because I keep the music off. And they're never going to stop copyright claiming people because their songs and video games that happen to uh, be copyrighted. So, unfortunately for me, you know, I just have to turn it off. You know, we can't listen to that awesome music from the 1930s era because even though the musicians, the artists, the performers, the singers are all most likely gone now, sadly, their music lives on. But unfortunately, uh, corporate entities happen to own that music. They had nothing to do with the music, but they own it. Our only hope is that maybe surviving family members benefit financially to some degree. Probably not. All right, continuing. Hope you all are having a good Monday. Mafia Defend Edition, classic difficulty. One or two episodes left. We might knock it out by next Monday on Mafia Monday. So maybe next Monday we knock it out. A great deal. Time to go get a great deal. This is the last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for 10 years. But we got to make payroll. Get it out of here. Convert them. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss, any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah. And you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south. And he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm. And he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? 
Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries, and I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last beam pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab ass this time. Oh, come on. Take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure I'm gonna play some boss. grab ass, boss. Drive it back here. He never lets us have any fun. We won't let you down, boss. I do like to pack in the background. Some time out there in the streets with the guys, Carlo. You don't have to worry about me. I know I don't. Tommy does that for me. I do I'll like keep your driver safe, boss. Bona fortuna, boys. Damn and little Bill. Can I can't talk now, guys. Can, can I talk? Thank you. I like the fact that in the cutscene, it is clearly showing that their last boxes that they were sitting on, that were being put into the the truck. It's showing how desperate things have gotten for the Salieri crime family. So obviously things are not going very well. I mean, they mention it also in the cutscene, but they're also showing it as well. Which I was pretty close. It's not a bad deal. It's a great deal. Best deal ever. Oh, wait. You okay, Carlo? Looking kind of like you shake yourself. Ah, get bent. Big moment, huh? Finally running with the pack. Listen, I spend more time with a Don than all of you've put together. Sure, sure. Sat out on the road, wait until he's finished with his broad. <laughs> yeah, Emil, I'm, I know that. <laughs> if you don't want me to come, I won't. It's fine. Boss doesn't have to know. Nah, you're coming. The boss said you're coming. Just, you got a face like you're being taken for an airing. I don't want Gates thinking we're frails. Yeah. Why is Gates sell on Morello anyways? First time Gates pulled in with his trucks, Morello decided to change up the terms. The big guy himself popped him in the nose as part of their renegotiation. His nose is gonna get more in a pop if Morello hears we're involved. That's why we're pretending to stick him up. Then he'll go back to his pop and tell a sob story about being robbed at gunpoint. He'll convince his old man that Morello can't protect the merchandise. They'll need to find a new buyer out here, and he's heard of a stand-up guy named Salieri. Yeah, very This standard. plan is some bullshit, Tom. Polly told it to me yesterday, and somehow it's gotten worse. Hey, when you get a lead for the boss, and you don't just drive him places, then, then you get to pick holes. Till then, shut your damn mouth. Ah, whatever helps you sleep. When Morello tracks you down, don't come crying to me. You serious? You actually serious? Fellas, knock it off. Christ. All right, so a lovely drive and lost seven. This is going to go perfectly well. There'll be no issues at all. It's going to go very smoothly. Morello will be none the wiser. It's a win-win for everybody except for Morello, right? <laughs> yeah. But anyways, I'm glad to have all you here. Germany's got a, new chancellor. a new chancellor in Germany? Is his name Bob? Chancellor Bob, that sounds very German, doesn't it? <laughs> Hello, I am Chancellor Bob. I don't know. Anyways. I don't know why I'm being silly today. I don't know, because it's Monday. Just been one of those... It's been, like, the day started off, like... I had, like, things thrown on me this morning. I'm like, okay. Like, someone's like, hey, I need you to come do this. I'm like, oh, I can't do that today. He's like, okay... And I was kind of getting arced about it. I'm like, well, I'd already had plans today. I'm already kind of busy today. But fortunately, it was resolved. And they're like, okay, can we take care of it tomorrow? I'm like, all right, we can take care of it tomorrow. No big deal. But you, you can't just throw something on me at the last minute. You know, about at least giving me a little heads up. I'm just saying. 
That, that goes for everybody, you know? That goes for everybody. Unfortunately, I got that easily resolved, so it's not a big deal. Tomorrow, I'll go take care of that. I'll take it care of. I do a lot of deals here. Parking attendant don't ask for much dough. Always closes up shop till I'm done. Oh. Okay, we're good. Gates is waiting up on the top floor. See, Brian, what's up, Brian? How's it going? It's the arc light. Yeah, it happens. It's just been one of those days. Been one of those days. But, you know, it's gotten better. I felt, I mean, I went to the gym. It went okay. I mean, I felt like I, I don't know, maybe because it was seems Monday. Clear so far. Only people with cars are people with jobs. Nine to five, place is deserted. Well, we got jobs and we're here. That kind of a job, sure. Yeah, kind of. Kind of, sort of. Up we go. Anything else we need to know about Gates Bowie? Only that he's got a bust up nose and crates full of the good stuff. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Nice. Ah, uh, cool, Emil. You're playing Mafia 2 the Fifth Edition? Nice. Hope you're enjoying it. Park up over there. No. Holly! Good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy! Oh, yeah. It's fine. Nice. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more runs. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we are always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. See you later, Yuji. Oh, damn it, Paulie! Uh, no, no! It's okay. Oh. What? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> oh shit. Watch out! Trouble! Oh, damn it! Shoot. Yeah, I finally got him. How the hell do they know about this? Because you always shoot your Mustafa, hello Mustafa, how's it going? You finished Mafia Defend Edition? I hope you enjoyed it. Sounds like you did. Very cool. Let me here pick up some ammo real quick. Pardon me. Sorry, Gates. In the original version of the game, I'm trying to like do comparisons off the top of my head. It didn't end so well for Gates. He ended up I think he ended up dead. I believe he ended up dead in the original version. In this version, he, he survives. I guess it's a better fate for this old boy from 10 SI. I, I wonder if Crips knows about his family. And this ain't as bad as it looks. And take the booze and get. My guys will come for me. Now go, go, go. So long as you guys clear him out up ahead, I'll be safe here with the little guy. Carlo, in the cab with me. You know you dead. Tommy, check for more of them. This thing ain't over. Come on, I'll back you up. All right. I need some med kits. All right. Should be a med kit down here somewhere. We got more of them. Over here. They called in the rest of their crew. They got back up. That would be a good time for like a grenade. I need to get to that med kit, but I have a lot of bodies in front of me. Shit. 
Ah, fuck. I'm almost dead. Fuck. Come on. Hey, that. Hey, Dad. Oh, good. I have two rounds left. Oh, I have no rounds left. Even better. Wow, we're screwed, aren't we, guys? What? Why would you bring the truck right here? Why would you bring the truck right here? Seriously. Keep it back up there where it can't be hit. That's so stupid. Uh, I guess try let Polly finish him off. This is not going well. I have no ammo. Um, yeah, Erica, we are playing on classic. I don't know why the enemies are appearing on the radar. I'm going in! Fuck it. Alright. Run. Run, Tommy! I got reloads. Don't move the truck yet, I gotta get hills. There we go. Somehow I survived that. How I survived it is a mystery. Oh. All right. No, no snacks in this game. Let's find a way around. Going this way. I see fire sprinklers up on the ceiling. We need to turn them on. There's got to be a valve to turn right. someplace. Got to be careful here. Over here. They're way through this fence. Oh, oh, how sad. He got a little bullet in the head. Poor fail. Poor little failer. Before I do that, I need some of these grenades. Mine. Uh, mine. Thank you. Ah, oh, all better. Okay, I guess. Uh, oh, that's where I put it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why the enemy dots are appearing on Classic. I think, as uh, someone pointed out earlier, I think it has to do with, like, like if, if they're not detected, if they're not attacking you, if they're not aggroed. Huh! 
Gotcha. Are you kidding me? He pulled the Lincoln Clay strat on me. Like Polly, Sam. Seriously. Like, guys, he's distracted. He's distracted. Pop him in the back of his head. Is that too much to ask from you twos? How far is this going to back me up? Okay, maybe that was a bad idea. We were doing so well, but come on. Come on. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I wonder how far this is going to back me. I mean, there were checkpoints, but that, I don't know if that really means anything. Let's see. Okay, so it's fine, it's fine. That was fine. that all right well it worked it was working I mean Erica but he he did the infamous pushback that like in Mafia 3 it happened a lot like you'd be beating the crap out of somebody with Lincoln Clay and then they push you back and then you knew it was over because somehow Lincoln Clay just can't handle being pushed it's like oh you pushed me it, it like makes him susceptible to being uh, game ended. I guess Tommy has that same uh, weakness, right? Maybe, maybe Tommy Angelo and Lincoln Clay are related. I don't know. Oh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> I need ammo. Run around, grab some extra ammo. Let's go. Where's that kit? Thank you. Alright. I think I left something in here, guys. Hold on a minute. Don't mind me. Mr. Joker, what's up, Mr. Joker? How's it going? Uh, yeah, Arc Light Rambo's in uh, Mortal Kombat 11 now. Alright. So I think we got that done. Oh, oh. <laughs> Nearly fell, but. Grab a set of wheels and watch my back. Sure, Sam. What was that about? Like, mmm. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beefers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. Ah, for fuck's sake. I knew it! We got more guys on us! Okay, let's slow them down some. Get them where it hurts! Come on! Why do I run directly and... Alright, are we back? Sorry about that, guys. Got so excited, I forgot about the disconnect that happens. Thank you, Internet. Very cool. Alright, so let me know if we're back and we'll continue. I'm going to make sure we're all back. We're all here. Hopefully. Most of you, I think, are aware that every two hours and change during a live stream, for some reason, my Internet hiccups on me. I don't know why it does it. Who knows? It's annoying. We've learned to live with it. Arclight says we're back. Thank you, Arclight. Very much appreciated. So, we are racing across the streets of Lost Heaven with some booze. 
and we're uh, fighting off Morello's goons. Will Sam, Polly, Tommy, and Carlo succeed? Tune in next time. Just kidding. On my way. Shortcut. Go under the Hooverville. Come back. Sorry, poor folks. I know you've had it rough, the depression and all, has led you here. But we need a shortcut back to the warehouse. Keep her going. Alright. I think we lost them all. Thank Christ for that. Let's head home. See what we got. We got the booze. I mean, I know it didn't go to plan, but... We got the booze. Double booze. Yeah. So tonight, me and you are gonna drink a bunch of it. No, you're not. Yes, we earned that much. You're not gonna drink a bunch of it. You gotta sell that shit, morons. Like, what the hell, guys? Right, I guess we gotta pull it in. Pull it on in. I actually did that without failing. Amazing. While well, up in the garage at night. Looks like a 38. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Well, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet, man. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo! Saludo! Yay! And for the record, uh, the Mafia City of Lost Heaven version of this mission, in case you want to go back and watch it, I will put those links below in the description section. You can also find that along with my entire Mafia City of Lost 7 playlist. Well, within the Mafia playlist itself, you just have to scroll down. And for the record, uh, The Great Deal, that mission went a lot saltier. <laughs> so yeah, even though we're on classic difficulty in Mafia Defense Edition, it's challenging. But compared to the original game, Mafia City of Lost 7, it's not as difficult. With some moments. With, there's a few moments of saltiness so far. Continuing. Intermission. Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Working up to it, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. You know, that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything except peddling dope. And by 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Polly had a few records of his own. Wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. 
You think Salieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Why? Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off one another, trying to goose the take, but once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. That was the missing piece. How was that? Morello was always winding us up, but he never did anything that might start an all-out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales, because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. <laughs> Both barrels, like he hasn't done so already. Like up until this point, I mean, yeah, I mean, it feels like that they've been fighting us pretty hard. I don't know. It already felt like that that both families were at war already. Oh, bon appetit. Um, I, I just had lunch. Pasted it on his face. I mean, oh, hey, boss, what's going on? I'm glad you're here. There you go, boss. Going to Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. I'm already starving. You got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. Just a little jumpy. You know, Luigi could fix us something to eat, boss. We could just eat here. We don't have to go to Pepe's. Let's go. Off. So how's business, Tom? Hey, you know how it is. It's good. Sure, I know the business. I see the books every day. But since what happened happened, I know that a capo needs to talk to his soldiers without some other guy getting in the way. It's going well, boss. Really well. Everything's fine. I guess we're mixing with a better sort of person, though. And I like dealing with all these big shots we got on the pad. Anything's better than those grifters trying to shift their hooch before the 21st went through. Ah, this is only the start of it, Tom. I got plans. Plenty of good people lining up for a slice. Glad oh. to hear it. Nice slice of pie, a slice of pizza, a slice of cake. What else can you get a slice of? Um, I don't know. Slice of the action. I'm running out of things to get a slice of. I don't know. Hey, Dark Matter Wolf, what's happening? Hope you're having a good Monday. Must Along be with everybody nice else. for you. Some time away from Polly and his cockamamie schemes. Well, that's a better conversation, boss. I'll give you that. <laughs> sure I am. Me, Sam, and Polly, though, we're still real tight. We've been through some times together. Yeah, don't I know it. Yeah, a slice of bread. There you go, Hikari. Good job. Well done. A slice of bread. Alright, can we go now? The boss is hungry. He needs to go eat. Yeah, the Browns are 4-1. Congratulations to all Cleveland Brown fans. That's a crazy time we live in. Where well, the Browns are actually a winning team. Amazing. Uh, can, can we go? My boss is about to literally starve to death on me. Come on. Come on now. I really wish... I, I know that the focus was just to remake the game from the original as faithful as possible but I really wish that we would have had some additional stuff in the game like the rat like checking out the rackets I mean even if it was just optional stuff you could do for fun I wish there was like an economy and that's why I, I've had this idea the other night from a lot of people talking in our awesome discord in our mafia room about things like positive elements from all the Mafia games that we would like to see combined, implemented into a future Mafia, like a sequel. Hypothetically, let's just call it Mafia 4, right? So positive elements from Mafia Definitive Edition are Mafia City of Lost Heaven, some positive elements from Mafia 2, and some positive elements from Mafia 3, combined together like the racket system. I like the racket system. The repetitive stuff, yeah, that can be annoying, but if you make if you make a lot of that optional where you can just do it because you want to do it, 
and then that's fine. Or maybe make it interesting, change it up a little bit. But there's part of me that while I appreciate the lin linear aspect of this game, I also wish they would have just simply come. I know I mentioned this in my review, in case you're wondering. I did do a review on Mafia Defensive Edition. Feel free to check it out. By the way, it is spoiler free in I case like you eat early, Tom. This ain't early. In fact, it's getting kind of late. I'm sorry. I'm trying to buy by traffic laws, Don Salieri. But anyways, train of thought. I kind of wish it would have just combined free ride with the uh, with the game and just had it set like markers at the bar for our different parts of the map depending on the mission. Similar to how they do in GTA 5 and uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 and even Mafia 3. That way in between missions and between that, you could just simply just do the free ride there. I have been looking forward to this all week. Where will you taste the cassata, Tommy? Oh. Nice car. Oh, more wine. Hey, more wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a... Don't forget it. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother. She would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellent. Bravo, bravo. Oh, Benny, oh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? Sit, please. <laughs> and to drink a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, Benny, Benny, Benny. Okay. <laughs> America. <laughs> yeah, this place does have a pretty good Yelp review. Enjoy, huh? That's why, we, that's why we're here. I'm glad you're off the roof, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. She told you? No. I put her up to it. Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. That's right, you drunkard. Uh, for you? And for you. Ah, <laughs> Peppy, the meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with a joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. Well, I know I, I've done the Yelp joke a few times already. What the hell, Morello? Bastard could have at least let me finish my wine. Hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Okay, we surrender. Smoke yes, out, now it's a one-star joint. It was a five-star establishment, now it's a one-star. Shit, watch out! Not the car! Man, everybody got food poisoning. Ah, you know, anytime I get food poisoning somewhere, I never go back. <laughs> And I've only gotten food poisoning once, and it was not nice. It was a horrible experience. We aren't going out the front door. Can you move? Not fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, yeah. boss. Be careful. Tom, just be quick about it. Right, boss. Run! Run! What the hell are you still doing back here? Alright, go. I'll be back once it's clear. All right, I think I'll hold on to that med kit until I'm done with these assholes. Oh, 
Oh, yeah? You wanna bet? That's a very negative attitude. Check. Well, at least he's still alive. All right, nice. Mad cat. Mad cat. Thank you, gamer. Uh, uh, oh yeah, sorry, uh, boss. Uh, magazine. I just. I know you're being shot up, boss, but I need to get that magazine real quick. Run, run, Tommy. Run around. Oh, are you kidding me? One shot like a champ. Damn it. I didn't even see him there. Well, it's a joke, Hikari. It's a fucking joke, okay? It's a joke. That place is done. The owner got killed. Most of the staff got killed. A lot of the customers got killed. I think that place is done. That's zero star now. Big fat zero. Anyways. <laughs> I thought I was good. And then boom. One shot at me. <laughs> Dom Morello sends his regards. Over here! Okay. Can't get him now, he's blocking. And I'm dead again. Yeah, it was pretty cheesy. Oh, that didn't go so well. We were on a good we were on a good run there for a moment, but then that the shoddy boy just showed up and it's like, uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. That's right, the shotgun specials today, right? <laughs> Anyways, hope y'all are having a good Monday so far. I don't know how many more missions we're going to do. Maybe one or two more missions. What do y'all think? Over here. We'll see. Actually, I'm going to save that. Ah, why'd you have to move? Most of my shots miss terribly. Now I can get the med kit. Grab the fucking med kit, Tommy. The restaurant's not sure, but the owner's dead, dude. He's dead, okay? He's gone. Pepe is dead. He just got shot up, so I don't think... All right, I know Shoddy Boy's over here. I'm getting my fucking revenge, Shoddy Boy. All right, pop your head. Are you kidding me? Fuck you. Uh, I got Shoddy Boy, but at a great cost. My health, literally. They're all good. Angelo's coming through the alleyway. I could not hit any of that. Why do I even bother? A fucking grenade. Still breathing, Tommy. Right. I've waited for this a long time. Right there. All right. I'm glad they're just entertained.
Alright. Don't sell Yuri! Boss! Got him. It's clear! Y'all thought I was gonna die again, didn't y'all? You thought I was gonna die again! Balls on this kid. You really saved my ass, Tom! We gotta go, boss. The cops will be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. Y'all thought I was gonna die again, didn't well, you? Let me get you back to the bar. You didn't see the epicness. Not the bar. When everything was on the line. Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today, and he calls in sick. He set you up. <sighs> to us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlos shacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. All right, let's go say hello to. Off we go. Step on it, Tom. Every minute Carlos still breathing is a minute that's got me pissed. Sure, boss. Can't believe these bastards had the brass balls to wreck my car. Had to be Carlo, didn't it? His pop was tight with Morello right when we started out. Apple don't fall far from the tree, huh? I wept at his funeral. And his sons will be laughing loud. His mom's already a widow, Tom, and now he's gonna make her lonely till the day she dies. For what? Some dough to buy his dope? And my foot through his face. Yeah, the betrayal. Another no damn dirty I'm rat. Glad. I'm glad this happened. I get to plug another rat, and we finally go to the mattresses with Morello. Today's the day that damn breaks. Yeah. Sure feels like it. The damn finally breaks because of... You take a guy in. You give him a place in your family. You give him respect. And this... This is how he repays you? If he's done this, what else has he squealed on? The farm, the betting house, the ambush at the parking garage, any of them could have been him. Exactly. Damn dirty Jesus rats. Christ, someone's been ratting us out to Morello for years. And the time we work it out is when his guys come this close to bumping me off. Well, at least we know who it is. Carlo, you're gonna pay for your crimes. You're finished, you damn dirty rat. Let's go get him, boss. All right, boss. Let's do it. Boss, why don't you let me go first, huh? Carlo might be waiting for us. No, Tom. My face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. <laughs> what the fuck? You goddamn dirty grifter. You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed casket, Carlo. <laughs> You okay, Buzz? Oh, yeah, just a little one. Let me catch my breath. Jesus, ah! he's fast for a big guy. Don't let him get away! Oh, don't worry, boss. I got him. You ain't getting away, Carlo. There's no point. You gotta accept your fate. Help! Help me, someone! Come back here, Carlo! No one's going to help you, Carlo. Your buddy Don Morello's not here to save you. Hey, we ain't finished with you. I can explain. No. I have, I have something to explain. Let me explain how much longer you have to live. Let me talk to the boss. The answer is not much, you scum. What? What the fuck? Game? Are you serious? There. Is he still alive? I'm not sure. This is, you're ruining your shoes, Don Salieri. Man, it's gonna take weeks to shine those shoes nice and clean. Now we're sure. <laughs> Two-bit piece of crap, exactly. Hey, Sergio, how are you? Keeping out of trouble? Sure. Who's this? Wait a minute. Is that Gordy? It is. Hey, Gordy, how you doing, buddy? Hotly recognized you. What'd he do? <laughs> You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah, there's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, I did some asking around. 
This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. That all right with you? Of course. Yeah. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. Oof. God damn it! What happened? I don't know yet. Crew we sent is dead. Restaurants all shot to hell. Step your crying. Trying to have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach Carlo? Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. So the army must have figured Carlo was the rat. God damn it. I even hear myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to shut the fuck up! We've been at war since we killed Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? Make your rounds. Tell the boys to keep their eyes peeled and the powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just uh, keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello. Ah, chapter complete. Bon appetit. See, Salieri should have broke Carlo's legs. Oh, he did more than break his face, Akari. He, he broke his life. Tissue, what's up, Tissue? Isn't it ironic that Tommy's chasing Carlo? Yeah, the irony, it's the whole cycle of things. You know, one moment, you know, you're this. One moment, you're that. How time changes. Uh, this is a good point, Erica. He can get a new pair of shoes. He has Don Salieri, after all. All right, so the war has begun. We're going to the mattresses. But first, a quick BRB. I think we'll do one more mission today, and then we'll we'll call it, but we'll do one more. So, Mafia to 5th Edition, classic difficulty, Mafia Monday. Hope you are enjoying the stream. If you are, you haven't done so already, a like will be greatly appreciated. And it's chair time.
Alrighty, we are back. <laughs> okay, let's do one more mission. Then I think we will call it a day. Mafia Defense Edition Classic Difficulty. Or Mafia Monday. Okay. Here's in. Continue. I had to get me a nice beverage. It's a grape. Waterloo Sparkling Water. Yes, indeed. No, I'm not sponsored. But hey, Waterloo. Look me up. <laughs> Oh, we're going to a birthday party. I love birthdays, except for mine. I always like to forget about it. We're at the start of something. Something big. You think? Morello tried to kill the Don. Not Tommy, not Polly. Not anyone regular. The Don. Oh, it's gonna be war. Um, I'm ready for him. I hope so. I hope that if, like, you know, if they tried to kill me, it, it would be war over little old me. Let's see, you said last week, and what happened? You said, well, what? I don't, I don't, what? <laughs> but Vivini told me I gotta stay around the bar for my own sister's safety. Mm-hmm. Gotta g g get a new c c car for the Don pinched from someplace, too. He only will want the best. Okay. I'll only t t tell you, but I'm g g gonna miss Carlo. He ch ch treated me okay, and l looked after the car even better. Well, he's gone now, Ralphie. And he was a damn dirty rat. Oh, one more mission. Oh, this time, yeah, one more mission. We'll call it a day after this, and I think we should be able to wrap it up next week. Well, the classic playthrough. Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war thumb. From today, we are at war. Luigi in the original game, in case you're wondering, uh, was a lot nicer. Like, this Luigi's a lot nastier. I mean, he's, still, he's still a loving father to Sarah, but he was a lot nicer in the original game. In case you were wondering. Up we go. Ah, I need something to eat before I go see the dawn. Kind of hungry. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. I just grabbed some snacks a moment ago. I'm good. And a beverage. Haven't seen any trouble just yet. Okay. So it's a it's a birthday time. Somebody's birthdays today. Who is the birthday boy or girl? Who's having a birthday? Out of trouble, I hope. No. That would be no fun. I want guards and lookouts round the clock. Here, the warehouse, and all our businesses. How about people under our protection? Forget about that. We stick to our own till this is over. I'll remember who picked the wrong side. Mm. All right. Time to go talk to the boss. Our guy's in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first we have to soften him up. Morel's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off. So we need to scare them into abandoning Morella's sinking ship. We bump off the right idiot. The rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counts are still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. Counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. He's pulling out all the stops, booths, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just did normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellas are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay, I'll talk my way to the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew will be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. <laughs> Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. 
You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore? Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with him there, and they'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Buona fortuna, Tom. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Uh, grazie. I did want to show this off again. I don't know if we can go back in there. But that map in the background is actually the original Mafia City of Lost Heaven map from the original game. And it does make me wonder, like, were they originally planning on making uh, the the interactive map similar? Or did they decide at the last minute to simply update it and just keep that as, like, I guess a, an homage, an Easter egg to the original map? So I do like the fact that it's there, that they use it in the game. So that's pretty cool. Emil, what's up, Emil? How you doing? Now I wonder what's up here. Why can't I go up here, guys? Come on, let me up there. Is that where... The, is this the Don's private penthouse up here? That's the Don's pad up there, his sweet bed. What kind of bed do you guys think he sleeps on? A queen or a king size? And what kind of mattress? I bet it's nice and comfy up there. I think he has a bra up there waiting for him. Is the is the Don married? Like that's one thing I've always wondered. Like I always wondered that. Hey, it's true the Don slipped Carla the bump, not you. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. Still blood in his veins, huh? Less than Carlos. <laughs> that's right. So don't cross the Don. Or the last thing you'll see is his shoe on your face. All right. So that is something I don't know if they ever touch on, is if Don Sally. I mean, you would assume Don Salieri is married. You would assume he does have at least... He doesn't have a, a daughter. But is it possible he has a son out there? You think somebody like Don uh, Salieri would at least be married? I mean, what about Don Morello? What, what about uh, his brother? You think Don Salieri's too poor to afford one? Well, I think uh, you're wrong about that, uh, Hikari. Sinister, what's up, Sinister? How you doing? There's poor people that are married, like right now and during the time of the Great Depression and Prohibition era. Now, we're no longer in the Prohibition era. That's officially over and done with. But hello, Sinister. How's it going? Time to go for a little ride to the dock. We're going to a party. I love parties. Parties are great. You've been here for almost two hours. Okay. Oh, oh, you were just lurking. I know you were here, Emil. I was welcoming you back. I didn't realize you were just lurking. I'm glad you're still here. Hopefully, you all are enjoying the stream. Yeah, I'm, Eric, I'm sure you had to have been married, right? I mean, that's just something that I wish would have been fleshed out a little bit more. Like, one of the opportunities I feel like they kind of missed, like rewriting the main story for Mafia to Fifth Edition, they should have like made Don Salieri officially confirm that he is married that maybe he has a son maybe the son didn't care for the quote unquote family business it's possible I mean do we really care about Don, Mar the Don Morello or his brother not really but I mean there's some opportunities that I feel like they could have they could have fleshed out a little bit more when they uh, were rewriting it I mean they Obviously, a lot of the story is is the original story, but they added a few bits and pieces and changed a few things here and there. But some things that they had an opportunity to flesh out a little bit more, character-wise, like, for example, is Don Salieri actually married? Does he have a kid or several kids? We know he doesn't have a daughter because, like, he does mention that Sarah is basically his only daughter. I mean, he's like a daughter to her, to him. You know, it's his goddaughter. Exactly, exactly, Icar. You know, it's like, like it's been, well, it's like Michael Corleone. You know, Michael Corleone in the original Godfather movie, he didn't want anything to do with the family business. It's a similar scenario. All right, we've made it to the dock. Ah, time to go to a party. 
Oh, damn it. I can't, I can't just go around the other way. Seriously, game? Yes, I agree. Remember to like if you are enjoying the stream. Thank you very much. And if it's a video, if you're watching this later on as a video from the future, hello from uh, the past. You also are encouraged to like the video or the live stream. Attention, folks. Attention. We'll get you all aboard, but we will need to see tickets. I'll walk nice and... Oh, you guys want a hot dog? I'm buying. Thank you for your patience. Uh, yeah, can I have a, a few uh, hot dogs? I need... Uh, let me look real quick. I need... Let's see. How many hot dogs do we need? Uh, we uh, Just take about, take about two dozen hot dogs or so. We're going to change. We're kind of hungry. Finest family in the city. No doubt my mind. It's rather dated. It's, it's, it's only a 1932 model. I would like a 1935. Aw, oh, birthdays. I love birthdays. He's gonna clear up Not this really. City, you know. I, don't really, I don't really see the point of birthdays, to be honest. Especially after a certain point. You don't look like a guy with an invite. I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. A sailor back there who works on the steamer. His head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him. All right. So what happens if you talk to Polly first? Like, because you had the option to go over there and talk to Polly. Maybe Polly just tells you to come over here. That boat's not going to wait forever, Tom. I know. Calm down, Sam. All right. Y'all can read that if you want. Isn't that lovely? He's so demanding. I mean, I know it's his birthday and he can cry if he wants to. You know, it's his party. He's going to do more than cry. Ah, Don Morello. Why doesn't he... I want him to wear the hat. He never wears the hat in the game. Like, in in, in the original game, he wears the hat. But in, in the remake, he doesn't. Why not? Anyways... In the locker room. Have I been, okay. I've been... Have I been in here yet? Okay. I think we just went around in circles. Damn it. Good job, me. Good job. Oof. Yeah. Sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> uh, he look—he looks swell in his sailor outfit. Tommy the sailor. What would you do with a drunken sailor? Oh, that's right. He doesn't drink anymore. Never mind. No, you'd get a real job someday. Yeah, finally. Play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. King Flush! Get up on the roof. Wait. Then get up on the roof. Wait for... God damn it. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech and pop him when he's done. How do I get away? Polly's borrowed a speedboat. After the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come soon as we've seen him. You better be there on time. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. It'll be good, Tom. Yeah. The outfit don't get messed up. Keep it. Suits ya. Ha, ha, ha. You're just jealous you want to borrow it. Come on. King Flush. Hello, King Flush. How's it going? Good to see you along with everybody else. Hope you're enjoying the stream. All right, I gotta get to work. Yep, gotta get on the boat. I have work to do. You think he's gonna pull this off? He sure is shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. You don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. <laughs> Off they go. It's birthday time. What kind of cake do y'all like? Chocolate cake, vanilla cake, strawberry cake, uh, red velvet cake? What kind of cake is your fave? I'm more of a pie guy, but we're talking about cake right now. What would you like for hey, some cake? You almost done? I'm almost done, sir. Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. 
you're volunteering to clean toilets? <laughs> Helen's culinary Whatever. skills have got a rag there. Place. Check every deck. Yes, sir. All right, so one thing I wanted to kind of do. Hold on, I'll go to the higher level. There's something I want to do. A little something, something. I hope this doesn't get me a copyright claim. With him singing, having a good old time on the. I'm gonna go on top of the boat. Don't I guess. Know you from someplace. Yes. Uh, don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the union, maybe? Sorry, buddy. I'm from out of town. Yeah. The the union. Listen, shipmate. Go someplace else. All right. Sorry, boss. Sorry. I apologize. Let's see, uh, Dark Matter Wolf, Ice Cream Cake, nice. Erica, Riverboats, uh, Mobsters, not a good mix. No, not really. Let's see, uh, Ibra, Vanilla, nice. Erica, Devil's Food, mmm, delicious. All right. So, I want to take a photo real quick without the pesky mini-map. So, how do we take down the mini-map? Well, fortunately, thanks to a recent update in the game, you can go to Options. You can go to the game, scroll all the way down to the HUD, put it to minimal, bada bing, there you go. Hold on a second, a memento. I'm not going to use this for the uh, thumbnail, by the way. I'm just taking a photo for the sake of taking a photo. Alright. I just wanted it as a keepsake. Alright. Now... What, what does the game look like if we were to, I don't know, put it in noir mode? I'm not doing the g Okay, so that's what it looks like in noir mode out here. Outside of Empire Bay. All right, we'll switch it back. I just wanted to show you. I'm just goofing off. GB, stop goofing. Say chocolate cake, hi, Kari. Nice, very nice. All right. All right. Anyways, they really do need to add a actual bona fide photo mode, but I don't know if they ever will. Anyways, oh. oh yeah, we're not supposed to go in there. Sorry, sorry, gentlemen. I think we're supposed to actually go downstairs, but I wanted to get a photo of the city, the city of Lost Heaven. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, I really would like. Some sort of photo mode, even if it's just basic, where you can just like pull away from Tommy for, for a little bit in order to get like a really good image. Okay, good. We got that. We will we'll probably need that in a quick minute. Let's talk to some sailors. You know where I can find the janitor? Back in a boat. Drunk as a skunk in the engine. Same as always. Figures. Thanks. All right, where's the YMCA? <laughs> All right, let's go down. I hear it's a pl fun place to stay. Alright. So it's not in here. Ah, here we go. Ah, you took your thing! Tommy, right? I hid the gun in the john in the stern. Mid deck. Where's stern? Next floor up. Right above us. Yeah, keys on the table there. Alright, thank you, sir. Very helpful and considerate of you. You ever say my name again, then you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, uh, I get that. Yeah. Go back to drinking. Remember, I was never here. Well, actually, don't remember. Just forget. Forget. So we gotta go upstairs to the mid deck. To the stern of the boat. And I do more than vote for the dames he invites to the Alright, so over here. Where oh where is the... I do know you. You do? You're with Salieri. No, I'm not. What are you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna give you a beat for starters. Okay. Jeez, that hurts. Oh, uh, well you shouldn't have threatened me, you son of a bitch. Who gave who a beating? Uh, I'm ready for my beating. No? Uh, I thought you were gonna give me a beating. Okay, well, I'm gonna give you a nice swim. No. Just go for a swim, you scum. This usually works. Maybe right there? There we go. 
Enjoy your swim. See you next fall. <laughs> I'll see Darren. You're playing GTA 3 on PS2. Nice, Darren. Hope you're having fun. because he's a sailor he knows how to swim see he swimmed away already so he's not even down there anymore he probably swam back to shore embarrassed that he couldn't even stop me he's like damn it I couldn't even stop him I was the one who got the beating and therefore I swim back to shore in shame how sad all right well we got a speech to attend to oh sorry captain I don't know if he's the captain, but he looks like the captain. He looks kind of captain-y, doesn't he? What, is it downstairs? Look. Ah, is it right here? No? I, you know, I don't care. The collectibles are nice and all, but at the end of the day, my focus is the mission itself. Getting the mission done. I think it might be right here. Oh, it's back here. Okay, got it. Got it. Oh, I'm, I hate to say it, but I may want to take an image of that. That looks nice. Hold on a second. Apologize to everybody. Hopefully you understand. All right. Oh, that does look nice. Except for that pesky square triangle thing. I'm ever going to do something about that real quick. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we'll take another screenshot. Un momento, por favor. All right. That looks cool. Once again, that's just for my own uh, personal reasons. Actually, you know what I can do? I can do a noir version. I can send that to... I know what to do. Hold on. <laughs> You're like, hurry up, GB. Get this over with. Patience is a virtue. One more screenshot. Then I promise we'll continue. Thank you for your patience. I appreciate you guys. All right, so I switched it to noir mode at night. So it looks kind of cool. No, not, not another image game. I'm sorry about that. Okay, thank you for your patience. Let's change everything back. Full on. Okay, now we're good to go. Your uh, patience is much appreciated. So we got that screenshot. Oh, you know what? For everybody in Discord, I will share it to all you in Discord. Later. I promise. All right, via my Twitter. I'll probably do that via Twitter as well. Hey, John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me, huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. It's time for a lovely speech. Thank you. Hey, welcome to my little party, right? <laughs> so, as you all know, it has been a tough time. Three years ago, my dear son Billy left us. An innocent pawn in a deadly gang war. A victim of the deceased that is organized crime. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this disease. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday and for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh? Fireworks. Up. Oh my god, he's dead. He's dead. Oh my god, he's dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a cruel world. Shit. Say goodnight, Hawk. 
God damn it. Ah, uh, seriously? Ah, uh, for frack's sakes. He's uh, a scummy, dirty politician, Hikari. That's what kind of politician he is. Which is the majority of politicians, sadly. No surprise I died there. And all I had was like a revolver. And I wasn't fast enough. I usually isn't. I'm usually not fast enough. One thing about this carbonated water, it does make you belch a little. A little. All right, we'll try this again. No, he's a city council. He was a city councilman, uh, Hikari. Yeah, it was, it was a nice present, Eric. It was a lovely birthday present. That's the last birthday present he'll ever get. So, game, um, you're going to let us do this mission again? I don't know. Okay, thanks. Oh man, he's dead. No, he's dead. He's dead. What a tragedy. Fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck. God oh, damn it. It's all the cr it's all the crap going on. It's just like, the visual just goes to hell. It's like that... Uh, there's a similar mission, I guess. It's not exactly similar, but there's a lot of fire and stuff during Mafia 3. A mission, and it, it really does affect the, the visuals. Terminator, hello. You are a little late. Just a little. But hello, Terminator. Michael Washington, you only uh, like uh, pin clicking when you're doing it. What? Why, Michael? I have no idea what you're what you're saying, Michael. What? Okay, whatever. <laughs> anyway, so let's wrap this mission up, and then we'll call it a day. And we'll continue. I I don't know if we're going to continue next Monday or maybe a Monday from now. We'll see, because I, I may be doing something next Monday. But I'll let you all know. I'll let you know one way or the other via the usual. Discord, Twitter, Facebook, the YouTube community tab. Once the mission lets us, you know, try again. Don't worry, Eric. It's not going to be like last time. This is not a hard mission. It's just all that freaking fire and fireworks and smoke and stuff kind of affects your visuals. The trick. Huh? It's all this, all this nonsense, you know. I'm taking him. All right, I took care of him. Now I've got to take care of him. Oh, are you kidding me, game? Damn it! Uh, it's all this bullshit going on. It impairs my vision, and. There's also a lot of audio stuff because of the fireworks. I get it. But it's still annoying. <sighs> Just a little annoying. It takes a quick minute to reload the mission, too, which is even more fun. Uh, so what's everybody up to uh, this week? Anything fun? Anything exciting? Mm, I got some stuff I got to go do downtown tomorrow or maybe later this afternoon. There may be times to go take care of that this afternoon. I'll have to look into it. Real life fun stuff. Tomorrow there'll probably be a Newswire video for Mafia. I mean, a Red Dead Online's event week. So that's pretty much it. Wednesday. I don't know what I'm going to do with Wednesday for uh, content. Maybe I'll stay far enough back. Problem is this little revolver only has a, such and such range. The problem is they, it's like they're in, like the NPCs are not affected by the the smoke and the fireworks. I mean, look at this bullshit. Like this is such crap. Damn it. Alright, he's down. 
Gray down. Ah, oh, fireworks, so lovely. I don't even know if I'm hitting him. You kind of have to wait for your to see where he's coming from. I can't even see where he is at. It's so annoying. Use the force, yeah. I'm not gonna run. That's. Got him. Alright. I think hopefully the checkpoint. Oh well. Why did somebody put a door right there? Oh. Mad cat. Hell fucking yeah. Ah, uh, they're coming up, they're coming up. Ah, fuck me. When do you have a Tommy gun I can borrow? Yellow mine. So I have a funny idea. Can, can I just jump off right here? My game. Like. Seriously? Oh, oh yeah. Come on. No. Come on, game. Let me let me jump. Come on. Come on. Let me jump. <laughs> what bullshit is this? I like I should be able to like jump up here and then jump into the water and escape. Like seriously developers, you didn't think of that? Like you can jump on this barrel? But I can I can literally like jump right there. Into the water. Tommy would survive that jump. Get into the boat and get away. Come on! That's bullshit. See that would have been kind of a sweet little Easter egg, like. Some of you have been like, oh, okay. oh, you mean there's a shortcut we could do? Yeah. That would be kind of cool. What do y'all think? And most people would never think of it. And then all of a sudden, somebody would figure it out. It's not, Eric, it's not too high up. What are you talking about? It is not too high up. It is not too high up. I disagree. It's, it's fine. My, my dear friend, first I must apologize for not attending your party tomorrow. Tensions grew high in the city today. It is unwise for me to show my face. On that note, you should have already taken the receipt with some men. Okay. Well, I guess it's uh, Don Morello, uh, you know, and his friendship. Regretting that he can't attend the, the party. You know, it's, it's sad. It's sad when you can't attend a friend's party. Bye-bye. Fuck this, I'm out. Why fight when you can run? Got this. Run. Fuck. Come on. Run, Tommy. Run the boat. Let's bounce. All right. Well, that was kind of a shortcut. Yay, fireworks! Alright, I think that's the end of the stream for today. Uh, we'll go ahead and watch the cutscene for the next mission, because I... I don't know if there's an option to, like, simply just back out and save the cutscene for the next episode. Be cool if there was, but I don't think there is. But at the same time... Small issue. Minor salt today. I know some of you are probably disappointed there wasn't more salt, but that's life. Maybe next 
episode, maybe episode four, there'll be more salt. You never know. All right, so we're going to watch the cutscene. Fireworks when a shooting just happened. Well, the, the fireworks were meant to automatically go off. That was the indicator, uh, Michael. But we're, we'll watch the cutscene for the next mission. But after that, we're going to call it a day. And we'll pick up either next Monday or the Monday after with episode four. Either way, I will let you know when we do the next episode of Mafia to Fifth Edition on Classic Difficulty. And before we go, let's uh, watch uh, another cutscene, shall we? So we have to look forward to next time a Mafia Definitive Edition Classic. I know that was cheesy. I'm sorry. <laughs> you expect nothing less from me. If you're enjoying the stream and this series, a like would be greatly appreciated. You lucky bastard! Sergio got away. Yes, it could be worse, huh? We could be killing you off the front of the train. He just got a good break, is all. Sergio Morella's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. We'll get him, boss. No, you tore off this job. You're broken mirrors on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this guy? Besides, he's got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, which means he controls the docks and attacks everything that's imported into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car, he'll be a human torch as soon as he turns the key. It's safe to carry. Yeah, just don't drop it. Shake it. Smoke near it. Yeah, it's safe. Boom! <laughs> Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys Morales killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll take care of it, boss. Now, don't worry. I'll take care of it. Oh, hello, guy who just appeared out of nowhere. That wasn't creepy at all. Yeah. Will there be salt next week? Will there not be salt? Or will next episode, whether it's next Monday or Monday after? We'll see. There's no way they'd come here. I used to run with his crew. If Morello wakes up one morning and wants to come heavy, he'll come heavy. Nah, now he won't. He goes with his Audio. gut. If there's one thing he's got, it's gut. He'd see all of Little Italy burn. To the ground. He's not a nice guy. This Morello guy, he's not nice at all. Uh, I need to mention whatever you want to mention. I'm calling it a day. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's stream of Mafia Definitive Edition on Classic Difficulty. And uh, tune in next time. Maybe there'll be more salt. There might be a boom. Boom. Maybe some fire, maybe some pew pew shooting bullets flying in the air. More fun coming next episode. Not as salty as last week, a little salt, not much. 
maybe there'll be more in the fourth episode. The fourth episode, we might just wrap it up. I don't know for sure. No promises. But whether we do it uh, this coming next Monday or the Monday after remains to be seen. But I'm glad you all have been enjoying my playthrough again of Mafia Defense Edition this time around on classic difficulty on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Before we go, let me say goodbye to everybody. Erica, great job modding as always. Hi, Kari, Ruben, Michael, along with Dark Matter Wolf, Terminator, Darian, Ibra, King Flush, Emil, Sinister, Tissue, who else was here today? Mr. Joker, Arclight, Mustafa, UG Outlaw, see Tommy Angelo Jr., Karunzi, Space Monkey, who else hung out with us today? Penguin Files is here. By, uh, Penguin, uh, by the way, uh, all my friends in Canada, happy Canadian Thanksgiving Day. Devin, Victor, along with Astro, Rio, Obi-Wan Kenobi was here. Hello there. I see, I love Shasha was here. Along with the Eternal God, AG, Mogul, Patrick. Uh, Dan was here. Jack was here. Stellar J was here. Gerald was here. I see Champ was here as well. All right. Glad you all made it. But I will see you all next week. Yes, I will. Well, I'll see you all tomorrow. Because uh, obviously tomorrow, in case you're wondering, I'll do an event week video going over Red Dead Online's latest uh, event week whatever it is tomorrow we'll go over it tomorrow video wise and if there is a newswire an article regarding mafia defense edition if it's interesting i'll make a video about that as well later on this week we'll see how that goes but hopefully next week or the week after join us again for the next mafia monday where we'll possibly wrap up mafia defense edition on classic and if you enjoy the stream be sure and leave a like if you're new to the channel, I stream and cover Mafia Defense Edition, Red Dead Online, GT Online, Ghost of Tsushima, which is coming up this Friday, Ghost of Tsushima Legends. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we'll be streaming through that. So looking forward to going back to Ghost of Tsushima for some Ghost of Tsushima Legends. Should be fun, hopefully. And I play other games too here and there on the channel. But basically, I guess that's the quad at the moment. Reddit Online, Mafia Defense Edition, GTA Online, as well as Ghost of Tsushima Legends. You're welcome to subscribe, join the Go Burns Nation to be notified about future streams and content. Ring, ding, the bell. It works every now and then. You can also follow me on various socials, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, as well as our awesome Discord community. We do have a uh, kind of a stepping process that you have to go through in order to officially join us in Discord. Follow the steps, uh, do what you got to do, and then you'll be welcome into our awesome Discord community, but just follow the rules, and there'll be no trouble. See? Anyways, hope you wise guys and wise girls have a great week ahead. And as always, from the bottom of my heart, from me to you, as always. <laughs>